All right, we have four very special matters to go over um, tonight on our consent agenda. And our first is to designate February 2017 as Career and Technical Education Month in Orange County Public Schools. And uh, we are, I'm gonna invite up to the podium Dr. Armbruster um, and anybody else from his team who would like to come. Dr. Armbruster, I hope you don't feel slighted. We are so proud of you that we could not fit the proclamation on one page. It's two pages. <laughs> And sometimes I read these, and I'm going to read the next two, but I don't want you to be sitting down and going, and I'm sure a board member or two will say, why didn't you read that one? But this is a long one. So board members, I would just encourage you to uh, look in your board docs. I know you all have already. And are you going to read it for us? Good. Okay. <laughs> I, need to get, I need to get coached a little bit better. <laughs> and thanks for saying that with a smile, for letting me off the hook. Dr. Armbruster, we're all ears. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, Thank you all for this opportunity to share. Uh, career and technical education in Orange County Public Schools uh, touches the lives of more than 35,000 students through 39 middle schools, 19 high schools, and our five technical college campuses, where we provide more than 60 programs from diesel mechanics to gaming and simulation, from welding to licensed practical nursing. Our students are a tapestry made up of people from all walks of life. At this time, I'd like to introduce two of them to read the proclamation. Uh, Alex Jar, 16-year-old dual enrollment welding student who attends Lake Nona High School and our Mid-Florida campus. You may recognize that last name as he is the son of our deputy superintendent. <laughs> and also to my right, Mary Sneed, 73 years young, who attends our Winter Park campus and is enrolled in our medical transcriber recorder program. Alex? When I first uh, joined this uh, dual enrollment um, opportunity, I never thought what it actually had an, to offer to me. Um, I was at first going to join in the new launch site where they do like design for computers and stuff like that. But my good friend in, encouraged me to join welding and I had no idea what it was at first. Um, when I joined, it was very tough at first, like just to get it down and to understand what I was like about to achieve. It helped me through, um, understand what I can do after I graduate college, uh, high school, um, instead of taking, you know, the like built for students, go to college and achieve a degree and go get a job. Whereas I can just go straight into the workforce. And I really do appreciate this program and it helped me a lot and it's, going to help me more. <laughs> Whereas February 2017 has been designated National Career and Technical Education Month by the Association for Career and Technical Education, and whereas profound economic and technical changes in our society how rep repeatedly reflected in the structure and nature of work, thereby placing new and additional responsibilities on our education system. And whereas career and technical education provides students with a school to careers connection and is the backbone of a strong, well-educated workforce, which fosters productivity in business and industry and contributes to America's leadership in the inter international marketplace. And whereas career and technical education has evolved, its post-secondary branding via the official name changed from OCPS Tech Centers to Orange Technical College. To better present, represent the instruction and programs provided, and whereas career and technical education provided through our post-secondary technical college campuses offers students a lifelong opportunities to learn new skills which provide career choices and personal satisfaction. And Whereas career and technical education provides high school students practical experience in meaningful 
applications, allowing them the opportunity to explore and prepare for technical careers as well as apply basic skills such as reading, writing, and mathematics, thus improving the quality of their education, motivating at risk populations and provide students leadership opportunities in their communities. And whereas career and technical education provides elementary and middle school students with the opportunity to, to explore and develop interest in technical areas, allowing them to experience the importance of in interactive activities that translate into future career interests. And whereas the ever increasing cooperative efforts of career and technical educators, business and industry stimulate the growth and vitality of our local economy and that of the entire nation by preparing graduates for career fields, forecast to experience the largest and fastest growth, and whereas Orange County Public Schools and Valencia College have entered into a unique arrangement that will provide a new college and career program called Tech Express to provide students seamless and ac accelerate access to career training and programs as well as in the Associates of Science and Bachelor's Degree program from OCPS to Valencia. And in be it resolved, that Orange County Public Schools urges all citizens to become familiar with the services and benefits offered by the career and technical education programs in this community and to support and participate in these programs to enhance their individual work skills and productivity and does hereby proclaim February 2017 as Career and Technical Education Month. I started back to school after educating my son because I still wanted to learn. It was hard for me to get uh, a good job. I could do a lot of things, but to get a good job. So you need more education. So I decided I wanted to be, I've always wanted to work in the medical field. I just didn't want to touch people and give them shots. <laughs> so um, when I entered Winter Orange Technical College, the Winter Park campus. <laughs> I got to meet Dr. Armbruster. My teacher is Deborah Wolf and Dr. Cap, my superintendent. But basically everyone there is very uh, very nice and they are willing to help you with anything that you need help with. When I finish medical transcribing recorder, I'm going to have a job. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Well, Dr. Armbruster, um, we want to thank you and your entire team. And I, I'd like to ask you if you could, sir, to have your entire team stand and let us recognize them, because they do a wonderful job. <laughs> and I'd like your team to know, and, and I, I rarely can say this, but I feel confident with what I'm about to say, I'm speaking for the entire board on this, that um, we are just so incredibly proud of what your team has accomplished these last few years. I don't have the numbers at my fingertips, but I believe you've more than doubled, uh, and maybe even tripled the number of high school students graduating with career certifications. You've uh, exponentially grown our enrollment in CTE programs. You've brought the mountain, so to speak, to Muhammad by moving so many of those programs onto the high school campuses. You've promoted career technical education in a way that I don't think any of us have ever seen done in this community in, in the last 20 years. Um, we see the billboards around town, we see the bus ads, um, and really you've, you've cemented our position as a primary provider of career and technical education or what we called when we were kids vocational education, but it's so much more than that today in our community. So. Your team's worked very hard to accomplish that. Congratulations to all of you. We're very proud of you. And Ms. Sneed, you're an inspiration. We're so proud of you. Thank you for coming to us tonight and, and, and helping read the proclamation. And 
Alex, I don't know where Alex disappeared to, but they, oh, there you are, right up front. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. We're so proud of your father, and I have a feeling he's incredibly proud of you this evening. So thank you for uh, not only representing the family name so well, but representing OCPS so well. Thank you for that. Oh, is that, is that Mrs. Jara there? I've never <laughs> met Mrs. Jara. Nice to meet you. <laughs> sort of, from afar. <laughs> Dr. Jenkins. Thank you, Chairman. I just wanted to add my commendations to the very fine team that works with Dr. Arm Brewster. And it is true, we have exponentially increased our enrollment and our industry certifications and participation in our Orange Technical College. I will tell you also, I think it's critical that he brought both someone who is reinventing themselves in adult training, which we encourage our entire community to take advantage of, as well as one of our high school students we're quite pleased about. Here's the thing, we have the best product available to adults in our community that need a good paying, well-trained job and a career path. Uh, that connection with Valencia um, State College certainly makes that provision even uh, uh, more impressive because they can go from industry certifications to degrees if they so desire. So we like to think of it as a continuum where students can get on and off of that train with as much education as they want, but in the meantime, they can start their employment at a very nice, uh, beyond, I don't wanna say living wage, at a very comfortable wage. Now, what Alex didn't say, but I know he said this out loud to his mom and his dad, and we've got evidence of it because we've got two graduates. Alex could say something along the lines of, when I finish my program and go into employment, I'm going to make more than some of the college graduates. <laughs> Last record, Two of our welding graduates have jobs beginning in the 80s. That's quite impressive. And, so, and we have a waiting list now to get into the welding field. Don't anybody who works for Orange County get any idea. Stop it. <laughs> the, cl the class is full. But um, since Alex didn't say it, I, I, I will certainly add that comment. Welding is, a, is quite a good field to go into uh, at, uh, at this point in time and, and, and pays quite well. But I am so delighted uh, that Ms. Sneed also is reinventing herself with certification that will get her the kind of job and the employment that she wants. We salute all of our students and certainly all of our staff, our employees, our teachers in our CTE program at Orange Technical College.